everyone, I'm Amber from Rover.com and I am getting ready to take a road trip with my dog Olive for a long weekend and I just wanted to take a moment to kind of show you the things that I've packed um, in preparation for being away from home for a couple days. So the first thing that I think is really important is to get a container um, for their do your dog's food. I like to pack extra. Um, I actually have this at home in our laundry room and it allows me to not have to constantly scoop out of the bag which is really nice and this allows you to just kind of pack it as you go. So the next thing that I have packed is this 2.5 gallon um, drinking water that has the spigot on the bottom which is super nice because if you're stopping at a rest stop um, it's really easy to just kind of slide it out, fill up a collapsible bowl with water. Um, so usually if I'm going to hit the road I'll maybe get an extra one just so we have it. A handy thing if you don't have collapsible bowls that you can use for your dog is something like this. Um, essentially you just fill it with water, you press down, and it's just an alternative way to get your dog to drink. So I also pack a few basic necessity items um, which includes a towel, a clean dog bed, and then a blanket or two. Um, these are good just to have you know, if you're gonna go camping or just even to lay on the back seat or if your dog is gonna be outside getting muddy, the towel comes in handy in any situation. So I pack a few different type of treats. So I have smaller chicken treats here that are good. You know, um, we're still in potty training for Olive. She's only eight months old, so I still reward her with a treat when she's going potty. So, you know, these also fit in the Kong, which is something super nice to have. Um, and then I also like to pack chews. So these are sweet potato chews. Um, and these are something that are gonna last a little bit longer and are just kind of another option if I want something to keep her busy um, if we're in the car or you know outside with friends and I want her to have something to do. Those are a great option. So along the lines of things to do, I pack a few different types of toys. So I pack a couple plush toys, um, which is like this or a tennis ball. And then I have a couple harder chew toys. So. Um, you know, something like a Nylabone, um, Kong makes these little chew rings, which are really nice. And then of course the Kong, um, your standard Kong. Now these are good options because these are things that your dogs can chew in the car um, that aren't a choking hazard. Whereas, you know, a plush toy is more kind of like when you get to the final destination, you're gonna be playing with your dog. Um, these are something that I would bring out at that time. Um, but these are more safe to have in the car or if they're in their kennel, you know, if your dog has anxiety, fill up a Kong, it's a good way to kind of keep them distracted while you're on the road. So I think it's nice to have both. And then kind of for just like basic essentials, collapsible bowls, I bring two, one for food, one for water. You can use the same one if you want. Um, and then I also pack a long lead. So this I believe is 30 feet um, and this is just allows your dog a little bit more room to kind of roam. So if you're at a rest stop, maybe you're gonna take 15, 20 minutes um, and want them to just kind of be able to walk around. If you're gonna sit on the bench, this is a great way to let them go further than your just standard six foot leash, um, but still have control. Some people use flexi leads. Um, I don't personally have one of those because um, the cords can be a little bit dangerous if they chase after something. So this to me is just a little bit safer option um, and Another thing that's just good to have in your car at all times. First aid kit, super easy. Just got this off Amazon, comes with everything that you need. Um, another thing that's good to have in the car on hand at all times. Um, and it's really small, so you can take it anywhere. And if you're gonna go hiking or something with this too, um, it's got straps in the back so you can just clip it onto your backpack or some, I've seen some people, you know, attach them to their waist. Seems a little bit excessive, but if that's what you want to do, it's super easy to do it. Um, and this is just something that, that every dog owner should have. And depending on the time of year that you're traveling or doing your road trip, I always pack a little sweatshirt, um, something warm for my dog because she's small and has short hair. So I usually pack a sweatshirt and then this is a nice um, thicker jacket. And then if it's for the summertime or spring, um, believe it or not, my Boston Terrier actually really likes to swim. So I always make sure to pack the life jacket. So um, a little bit top heavy, but this is something that's just good to have in the car and it's small, so I always pack it. So my dog is really small. So she actually travels in the car in her sleepy pod carrier in the back seat. It's a crash tested 
carrier for your small dogs. But I also like to pack the metal crate. She is used to sleeping in this and this is kind of her happy place when we leave the house um, to run errands or whatever on the weekend. So if you're going somewhere where you might be staying with friends or family, um, this is something nice to have that you can set up inside the house once you get to wherever you're going. Even if you're going camping and your dog is used to sleeping in the crate, can easily be popped into a tent or a camper um, and these you know they fold down to basically nothing so you can either leave the blankets in there take it out fold it all the way down put it in the back of your car and then pack everything else on top of it and it's a really nice way to kind of have peace of mind when you're away from home um, and your dog is also going to have their little safe spot so it's it's a really good thing to pack if you have space um, and if you don't have space I would really try and make space for it because it'll be good for them to have. So I actually have a plastic tub, this is it, that I use to kind of store everything in. Um, it's a really inexpensive way to keep all of their stuff together. Everything stacks in here really nice and when you get to where you're going or your final destination or a hotel for the night, um, this is going to be something that you can just kind of take in and out of the car really easy, it has everything that you need. You don't have to worry about using shopping totes that are super heavy just lift it in and out um, and I think it makes a really big difference. All right everyone from all of us at Rover we hope you have a happy fun and safe summer with your dogs and we'll see y'all next time. Bye!